Okay, we have a block accelerating down a ramp with friction. The block has a mass of 2 kilograms. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.3. The angle of the incline is 32 degrees. Let's draw a force diagram. Draw the dot. Draw the weight vector, which I'm going to label Fg for force of gravity. Draw the normal force perpendicular to the ramp. And then draw the kinetic friction uphill. Let me grab a different color. I need to resolve the weight vectors. I remember you tilt the axes, so that's the x-axis, the parallel axis, and this is the y-axis, perpendicular to the ramp. So Fg gets the triangle. Back from the normal force, whoops, let's move this over here, I'm sorry. So that's Fgy. This is Fgx, which is downhill. This is 32 degrees. And if you, you saw that the block accelerated down the ramp, I'm going to actually make the friction a little less. So, there we go. Notice that the friction is shorter than the weight, so it accelerates down the ramp. Now, we need to calculate Fgy and Fgx. Fgy equals Fg times the cosine of the angle, which is 19.6, because it's 2 times 9.8, 19.6 times the cosine of 32 degrees, which comes out to be 16.6 .6 newtons. Fgx by the same token will be Fg sine theta, which is 19.6 sine of 32 degrees, which equals 10.4 newtons. The goal of this is going to be to determine the acceleration of the block down the ramp, which is in the x-axis. So, first we need to know, the, well, we know the, the value of, of Fgx, we need to know the value of the kinetic friction. To figure out the kinetic friction, I need to know the normal force, which is in the y-axis. So, net force in the y-axis is equal to zero. There's no motion at all in the y-axis, it's in equilibrium. Therefore, the normal force equals Fgy, which is equal to 10, it's not, it's equal to 16.6 newtons. Now, to calculate kinetic friction, remember that kinetic friction equals the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. The coefficient of kinetic friction, an indicator of surface roughness, is equal to 0.3. So, 0.3 times 16.6 equals, oh, uh, where did I do it? Equals 5, rounding, and equals 5 newtons. Okay, now, I need to know the net force in the x-axis. The net force in the x-axis is the difference between the downhill force and the uphill force. Fgx minus kinetic friction. Again, Fgx downhill, kinetic friction uphill. Fgx is 10.4. Friction is 5. Again, this is all on the x-axis. I should not have put that under the y-axis. This is in the x-axis, right? So, 
This comes out to be what? 5.4? 5.4 newtons. So this is the unbalanced force. 5.4 newtons of the force is unbalanced. That's what causes the block to accelerate down the ramp. Newton says that net force causes the mass to accelerate. The net force, the acceleration is in the x-axis. Remember, there's nothing moving in the y-axis. It's all in the x-axis, and it's 5.4 newtons. So 5.4 equals a mass of 2 times A. Solve for A. That's 5.4 all over 2. And that comes out to be 2.7 meters per second squared. And we're done.